Welcome to Waka Motorsports. I'll be your host for the episode. Today, we are going to be debuting our official race car for the 24 Hours of Lemons. So let's go. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into our channel. If you haven't already, please hit like, hit subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Subscriptions and likes go a long way to helping us with the YouTube algorithm, whatever the hell that means. Now that that's out of the way, uh, I have our official car just off screen. I'm gonna show everybody in a second. Just wanna give a little background before we get started. Myself and Justin, was unable to be at this episode, but you will be seeing him later in the series, decided a while back we wanted to get into racing. Specifically, we stumbled upon the 24 Hours of Lemons. What that is, is it's a race, wheel to wheel, on a racetrack for a prolonged period of time, basically an endurance race, involving $500 ship boxes. And what I have here fits that criteria perfectly. How the cars work, is you have to make them safe with a roll cage, uh, fire suppression system, kill switch, uh, obviously a driver uh, safety gear, a race suit, a uh, helmet. And once you have all that built into the car, you take it on the track and you go race other idiots that bought $500 cars to see who's the fastest. Disclaimer, nobody that races there is an idiot. I take that back. I digress. Without further ado, let me introduce you to the 2022 Waka Endurance Race Car. Here it is. Here is the ship box that's gonna take us all the way to the top. So here we have it, the official 2022 Waka Endurance race car. As you can see, it's not a Chevy. It is in fact a Honda Civic. So real quick, some stats on the car. It's a 1996 Honda Civic hatchback, has a 1.6 liter, single overhead cam, non-VTEC motor. It's uh, got 200,000 miles, all original, body, engine, transmission. We were able to find somebody willing to sell us this car for a decent price in the New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area, which is fucking unheard of. The car has some, some pros and cons. Let me take you through that right now. All right. We're gonna start down here at the bumper. Obviously, not the original bumper. The vehicle is a salvage title. It was involved in some sort of accident. This bad boy was thrown on afterwards. Even after this bumper was put on, it seems to have a little bit of a scuff. Gives it some character for racing. Next, we move up to the hood. Hood uh, also has some damage. Not in great shape. A little rust, a little ding, a little dent. Good for racing. The front grille, as you can see, it's well maintained. It's well, very, very solidly secured. Headlights work. 
So that's a plus. Moving on. While staying on the front end of the car, the uh, quick release bumper setup. I appreciate it. However, we're currently held on by a wire tie. Next, we get to the wheels, tires, and suspension, which I'm not sure if you can tell from this angle. I'll make sure to get a proper angle. The car does have some sort of lowering springs. I think he stated it has a coilover setup, and there's obviously some camber in the wheel, meaning the wheel is canted out. It's got the uh, Avid One wheels here. Those are really good looking. I can't wait to take these off and sell them. On top of which, we got some newer rubber. Um, the rubber plus the wheels, hopefully they're able to get us back some money. I want these off the car as fast as possible. The suspension being as low as it is, makes for an absolutely atrocious ride. Moving on. Previous owner, one of them, used a hood spacer. I'm sure you can see it here. I'll make sure to get a good video of it. I don't know what the hell these are used for. There's, there's nothing uh, indicating that this car needed some hood spacers. It really gives it the extra flair of a shitbox. If I'm being honest, this screams rice, and this screams you're about to get this car for a couple of hundred dollars less. Right? What the? Moving on. So as you can see, as we move down the car, can we also get a little clip of this? Can you guys see that on camera? One of the previous owners put something over his side view mirror, I guess to help, I don't know, keep the sun out or the water. It's got a little brim. Are you kidding me? The car was involved in an accident at some point. I'm not specifically sure what happened. However, we do have some pretty solid body damage down here. Side skirt is barely hanging on. Uh, we got some dings and dents, particularly here, and a dent here. Obviously, the rust runs up onto the top of the wheel well. Underneath, paint's bubbling. Can you see this dent? A little rust around the top. That screams, hey, I'm a car, and I'm 20 fucking years old. Cut me some slack. As we get to the rear of the car, uh, for the most part, it doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape. We do have a uh, classic Honda muffler tip on here. It sounds very good at high RPMs. We got the uh, rear taillights all work. It seems to have some sort of special extra blinky brake light. I want to be F1 brake light. I'm not sure where the wing came from. Love the wing. Might try and keep that wing. Uh, that's actually like my favorite part of the car is the rear wing. So I'm not sure you're going to be able to get this on camera. I'm going to try and get as close as we can. This car actually is not OEM paint. This car was repainted at some point to like a metallic flake. Again, I don't know if you can pick it up there. I'll make sure to get a close up. The entire car was repainted, metallic flake. Next, we move to the interior of the car where we have some nice aftermarket speakers. Look forward to selling those. Driver's seat, interior. Looks like it's a 20 year old car. It looks pretty beat up but there's not any rips or tears. Hopefully we can resell most of the interior, get some money back. The car does have a detachable steering wheel. Came with an additional steering wheel uh, with a quick release. We do need a detachable steering wheel for racing. However, I don't think we're gonna go with this setup. Moving on, we get to my favorite part of the car, which is the shifter. So here we have the manual transmission. Uh, shifter this is a five speed and the shifter appears to be in really good shape let's take a look awesome here's first gear first gear let it go we're in first gear right now look at this bad boy it's shifting all over the place look at the way this thing just flops around in there it's like a old lady's vagina how loose it is is that too graphic? Is that too graphic? <laughs> I got a dirty mouth. I'll probably cut that. Maybe we cut it, maybe we don't. Maybe I'll leave it in. Shifter is disgusting. It is a pain in the balls to try and figure out where 
everything is. Here's first, here's third. There's like a video. The video online, hopefully I can find for this. Guy just out there shifting his bus with like two fingers in the effort. Anyway, the interior is alright. Um, airbag was deployed. The passenger airbag area is, is been clearly compromised. Has an aftermarket head unit radio with some upgraded speakers, all of which will probably be sold to help cover the costs of the car. On top of that, the car has no power steering. Fun. Very fun. Let's check out the rear hatch. Some new struts. Um, this is exactly how the car was sold to me. I have not had a chance to touch it. It was purchased last night, driven to its parking spot where I got it today. And here we have it. Uh, the previous owner sold us an extra radiator. I have the previous owner's sweatpants in the car. We actually have the rear lip. Uh, the rear lip is in the trunk. I guess these go to the front speakers, which are popped off. The car did have a speaker and audio system in it prior to today. That the owner kept. Okay. Here's the old airbag and everything. This is actually real cool. Just cool. goodness this thing is on the ground granted this is not going to be a road car it's going to be on the track i don't even know what kind of suspension this thing has on it oh my god <laughs> throwback here we are here's the uh here's the race car i sit all the way up Alright, let's take it for a quick drive. Sure hope I didn't forget any of my camera stuff. That would be unfortunate. Uh, well, I got a microphone on. Not using the GoPro mic, I've learned my lesson. Uh, I'm not even sure you guys are going to be able to hear this. But, we're on the road. Let me get out of this parking garage before I waste the rest of my uh, memory card. So it's very loud in here. I'm not even sure how good the quality is gonna be for this audio, but right off the bat, transmission, the shifter, and trash. That needs to get changed ASAP. The uh, suspension, I think it's all coilovers. Uh, that needs to be adjusted at the least. Probably need to go back to a stock suspension or change the, the brand of coilovers. It's a very harsh ride. I'm pretty sure that's due to the fact that the car is got some camera on the wheels now. But I'm sitting on the earth. Oh, every bump is basically treacherous. Oh my god! So we did a filming of this in Edgewater, which is Bergen County, New Jersey. The uh, the roads, they are very bad. I don't know 
know how this guy drove around with this thing. Oof. I thought the HHR had a pretty rough suspension. This thing makes that feel like a Cadillac now. That being said, uh, the car does shift into gear well. The clutch grabs all the way at the top. I'm, I'm a little more familiar with it grabbing on the bottom, but it grabs all the way at the top. It, uh, it rides like a 24-year-old shitbox, to be honest. Yeah, this is actually... Oh! Uh, Visibility is pretty decent. Every... Oh, my God! Everything rattles. A savior, savior, it's 26 year old comments for somebody else. I know it's an old car, but my god, it feels like it's about to fall apart any second. I'm supposed to go up that street. Damn it, I'm supposed to go up that street. up what we're working with here what we're starting with I wanted everyone to at least see where we started with baseline and uh, though we're not going to discuss price in these videos just know we got a very good deal uh, I understand the uh, the car is not in mint condition which is very indicative of basically what we paid for it I'm looking forward to bringing some future content to the channel uh, with this car I think it's gonna be pretty fun uh, we are planning on racing it in the 24 hours of lemons and we're going to end up racing it probably in champ car and there's one or two other series we were looking at um sky's the limit with this thing baby that's it for the test drive if you can hit like hit subscribe we would really appreciate it it'll help grow the channel feel free to comment below on any mods you think this thing could use any suggestions on what we should do with the car especially paint scheme. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Oh, until next time, peace. And a huge shout out to Attention to Detail Professional Cleaning for sponsoring this episode. We do a nice little, nice little transition. I'm just kidding. This thing is not going to take us anywhere except I'm going to get divorced when my wife finds out I bought another fucking car. Whoa, whoa! I'm screaming because I don't know if my mic is picking up the audio, and if it's not, I hope my camera mic is picking up the audio. All right then. So I'm officially a Honda boy, talking about my Honda boy, talking about a sister story, wanna wanna who that boy, gonna get an exhaust. Alright, maybe I bleep that, maybe I don't. We'll find out later. I don't know if you guys can see this. You have a fat fucking stomach in view though, nice, cool, yeah I'm fat. <laughs>